Developing tonight, one of the people involved in a deadly overnight crash in East Boston has now turned themselves into police. The wreck early this morning on Bennington Street left one person dead and another hurt. I'm Katie Brace. And I'm Ken McLeod. Tonight, the 22-year-old man's attorney is telling us that his client is facing motor vehicle homicide charges. But so far, we haven't heard much from police. WBZ's Jim Smith is live for us in East Boston now with the latest. Jim? Katie and Ken, Boston police still investigating all of this. And so far, not too many facts have come out. But at this point, we do know, unfortunately, tragically, that a life has been taken in this crash. A grim scene on Bennington Street in East Boston. A mangled car loaded onto a flatbed. Police and evidence teams analyzing and removing debris. All of this after a crash just after 1 a.m. Sunday that leaves one person dead and another hurt. It was a tragic accident. Um, there was no malicious intent. Defense lawyer Peter Morano brought his client to the East Boston Police Station. Morano says 22 year old Dylan Etheridge is facing motor vehicle homicide charges, but the attorney says there are questions. Nobody's established who was driving at this time. The police haven't established a driver. Um, that'll all come out later. Um, at this point, it's an allegation, um, and we haven't figured out where we're going from there yet. Back at the scene, there was evidence of just how violent this collision was. Boston police are still investigating. Meanwhile, the man arrested will be in court Monday. Attorney Morano says Etheridge was injured in the crash. Yeah. It's an emotional thing for a 22 year old. I mean, in the blink of an eye, your world changes at 22 when something like this happens. He's very emotional, he's very upset. Obviously, feels for everybody involved and we all do. At this point the name of the person killed has not yet been released. We hope to get some more information later on this evening. Live in East Boston, Jim Smith, WBZ News.